in this tutorial, I will show you how to make this apron and in my next video, I will be cooking some delicious clicker cookies. I will leave the link in the description box. These are all the pieces that you will have to cut. You will need about a meter of a thick fabric and some lace for the front and skirt of the apron. Let's get started. To do the front pattern, you can use gift wrapping paper. Cut a square that is 27 by 27 centimeters. Turn it and fold it in two. In the bottom, mark one centimeter from both sides. And trace a straight line from the top to the dot you just did. Cut following the line. Then, round both top corners. Fold it in two and cut it. Put your pattern on top of your fabric and pin it. Then trace the pattern. Cut leaving some seam allowance. Twice the edges of the sides and top of the front and go lightly stitching it, it will be much easier to sew it later. When you get to the rounded corner, carefully fold it with a rounded shape. This is what it should look like. Take the lace and place it under the front. And lightly stitch it. When you get to the rounded top, slowly fold it and stitch as you go. And sew it. To do the skirt, cut a rectangle of fabric that is 70 by 41 centimeters. Then stitch long and even stitches along the length. This will create the little pleats. In a piece of paper, trace a curve. Put it in the top of the corner bottom of the skirt and trace it. Do the same a few centimeters more inside. Repeat on the other corner. Fold twice along the edges except for the one that we did the stitches.
when you get to the corner, carefully fold and stitch. This is what you should get. Add the lace to both sides and the bottom. And sew it. For the neck band, cut a rectangle that is 46 by 8 cm. Fold it in two, right side inside, and pin it. along the edge so one of the sides to turn it in turn the side you sew in put a stick and push it through creep off the side you won't need it Place the sewn edge in the middle and iron it. For the waistband, cut a long rectangle that is 8 by 176 cm. Remember that it must be long enough to make a bow on the back of your waist. Cut it and fold it in two, right side inside, and pin it. Sew along the edge. Sew one of the sides and turn it as we did for the neckband. Mark 3 cm in both sides and trace a straight line to the top corner leaving some space. Cut leaving some seam allowance and tuck it in creating the straight line. Repeat on the other side and sew. Pull the waistband in two and mark the middle. Place the neckband. I use my fingers to know where to place them. Place the waistband. Sew the upper part of the waistband. the excess of fabric. Mark a dot 6 cm starting from the edge of the front on both sides. Pull the thread that is in the upper edge of the skirt to create the little pleats. Pin the 
and at the mark statuted. Keep pulling the thread and use your fingers to accommodate the pleats. When you are happy on how it looks, pin it. And sew along the lower part of the waistband. Here's the final result. I hope you enjoyed this video. If you want to see more videos like this one, subscribe to my YouTube channel.